Well, this is a remote that I received from RV Lock, and it includes a little holder so you can put it in the wall. And it has a spot for three different locks. So you could have your front door uh, in two different baggage compartments, or if you have two doors on your RV, two doors in a baggage compartment or whatever combination you have, and you can lock and unlock them all at the same time. And it's a pretty simple method to programming these, and we'll show you how to do that. Regardless of the door lock that you have, whether it be a baggage door or a front door, or what remote you have, so this includes the 8-button remote, the 2-button key fob, as well as the new Bluetooth remote, the procedure is the same for all of them. We have an on-off switch here. If you turn it off, it disables wireless access, so that must be on. We also have a code reset, and if you push that down and hold it, you'll reset all the codes. To program the wireless remote to the door lock, you have to take a sharp stick and poke it into the learning button. And you push that down and hold it until you hear a beep. And then on the wireless remote you want to program, depress the open or close button of the position you want to program on the remote. You hear a confirmation beep. Now it works. And that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. There are actually three different styles of remote available with RV Lock. This is an eight button remote. This is a two button key fob. And this is the new BT Pro module or the Bluetooth wireless module. This allows you to program three different devices as well as the fourth device is all, but you can program just a single device for this if you want. You would think that if you programmed three different locks in here, then if you hit the all button, all three of those would be transmitted, but that's not the case. When you program the all button, you have to program each lock with the all button. The locks will actually take up to 10 different codes, so you actually have to program lock one here and here, program lock two here and here, program lock three here and here. However, if you don't want to use all, you can program just one lock here, and then you have four different positions. With this one, it's just uh, one lock here and one lock here, and the Bluetooth module uses a similar technique for the door lock, but a completely different technique for the Bluetooth connection to the cell phone. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. I have a separate video just for the Bluetooth module. And these are all purchased separately. So you just buy whatever quantity of whatever you need. I happen to run across these garage door opener replacement clips. They're made out of stainless steel and you can buy just a clip. You don't need to buy the whole garage door opener. And to give me an idea, why don't I make a 3D printed holder for the eight button remote? So this is what I came up with. Here is the base and this is the cover. And I plan on just taking this clip inserting it in the cover and then I'm going to super glue this and then this clip will fit in the base like that and attach with some screws. And I'll put the STL file out on my website so you can download the image files for free and print your own if you'd like. And I'm going to use some super glue with accelerator and if you've never used accelerator before it basically just instantly cures the super glue We just run loose super glue in the slot. And I'll also put a link on my website for this if you're interested. And this is a bit of a gel super glue, which actually works pretty good with the 3D printed parts because, you know, the 3D printed parts are a little bit rough. And then you take the accelerator. And that thing is sort of cured. And of course you want to wait for this to be completely dry. And the way that this assembles is the 8 button remote slides in like so. And then this slides over top. And then these are 2.5 millimeter screws. And we just put four of them into the side. 
And now I can just clip this to my visor and then I'll always have this available when we arrive or when we leave the RV that I can lock and unlock it while I'm in the truck. And there we go. We have the lock on the visor.